Hey guys, Suburban Home Nut here, and today we're going to talk about two types of fertilizer. One is organic, and the other one is synthetic. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and clicking that like button. I always appreciate it. So this is my organic fertilizer I picked up at Home Depot. It is purely organic fertilizer. It's natural plant-based lawn food. And the other one is my go-to right here, the Sunnyland Nitro Green 1608. I get this at Walmart for about 15 bucks. Now just recently I saw it on sale for about 12 bucks and I wish I would have jumped on it and bought about five or six bags, but oh well. So I live in Florida and it's December, okay? And I'm still mowing every five to six days. So if I'm still mowing, it means it's still growing. And this is true up through January. I know that most of the long country is shut down for the winter, but here we're on long call 365 days a year. Today I'm going with this option right here. It's purely organic. Now, is this an alternative to Morganite? Well, if you want to go organic, maybe, but there are differences between the purely organic and the Morganite and why I've chosen to not use Morganite. Really, there's two reasons. First is Morganite normally has an NPK of around 640 or 530. That means 6% nitrogen, 4% phosphorus and no potassium. My soil already has a higher than normal phosphorus level, so I don't want to add any more phosphorus to it. And secondly is that it has no potassium, which I like to add. Now, malorganite is great for a lot of applications, but my soil tests tell me that I need something different. This is why I went with purely organic. There's several differences between organic and synthetic fertilizers, and some of them are these. Organic fertilizers like this are derived from plant-based or animal sources, or even biosolids like malorganite. Things like blood meal, compost, manure, seaweed. So if we come down here, we can see, well, hopefully you can see, it says derived by, it's uh, soybean meal, monohydrochloride, and dried grains. So if we come over here to the sunny land, synthetic fertilizers are man-made, non-organic compounds. And they have things like ammonium nitrate, ammonium phosphate, and potassium sulfate. So hopefully you'll be able to see this, um, but it, it does have uh, phosphates and sulfur coated urea and sulfate of ammonia. And it also has copper oxide and zinc oxide. Organic fertilizers are gonna help amend the soil, which means it helps all the microbiology in the soil, while synthetics historically won't do that. Also, another great thing about organic fertilizers are uh, they're a little more forgiving, so it's great for those that are just starting out in lawn care. There's no fear of burning the lawn if you add a little too much. It says you can add four to eight pounds per thousand square feet, which is very, very forgiving. I would never put eight pounds of sunny land down per thousand square feet. The highest I would go is about four to five pounds. The purely organic has an NPK of 1002, which is pretty light. And the entire bag is gonna give you about a half a pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet, which is pretty respectable. This is why you can go a little heavier with organics without much fear of burning your lawn. So if we come down here, we can see the size, all right? The purely organic, and then this is the Sunnyland. They're pretty similar in size. I think that the um, purely organic could be just a little tiny bit bigger. But this is where experience really comes into play. Last time I used the Sunnyland, uh, I set my spreader, I think it was eight or nine, and I put down, I think, 4.8 pounds per thousand square feet. So the 25 pound bag, it says it covers 6,250 square feet. I'm gonna put the whole bag on my 4,500 square feet. So with a purely organic, I'm probably gonna keep my spreader setting at maybe eight to nine. So I'll be able to put the whole bag down. So now the question is, which one is better? Is the organic better or is the synthetic better? Better is a very broad term and is, is open to a lot of interpretation. There's actually benefits to each one. Of course, if you wanna go fully organic, you can use an organic one, but it does cost a little bit more. Again, the Sunnyland is 33 pounds. It covers 7,600 square feet, and it's only about 15 bucks at Walmart. You know, that's a really smoking deal. And also, like I mentioned before, is that the synthetic, it does have a good NPK, but it really doesn't do anything. Historically, it doesn't do anything for the soil, whereas the organic ones, they will do that. They'll help amend the soil. Or you can do exactly what I do and just kind of flip-flop back and forth, you know? One month, I would use the something organic, and then the next month, I would go to the synthetic. And I just go 
back and forth, month to month. So anyway, let's put this in the spreader and get going and have some fun. All right, guys, let's get the show on the road. Let's see what we can do. Go have some fun. All right, so I put about half the bag in there. Well, I can tell you this, it smells very weedy. It's grains, gotta expect that. All right guys, my job is done. 25 pounds of purely organic, cover 6250 square feet, and PK of 1002. We're just gonna let this go, see what happens over the next couple weeks. For my next project over here, we're working on raising some sprinkler heads. So that's gonna be in my next video, that one out. Hope you have a great day and see you soon. Yes, 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 yes,